Hey guys, I'm trying to put my helmet on, but I cannot. <laughs> Fire it! <laughs> get the creep. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. To fly away. So how do I stop my, my suit from releasing these fucking gases? <laughs> so pilot on the seat, everyone. Okay, so part, uh, if you have any questions about the game, you can ask them. Yeah, I got gases leaking out of my suit. How? Oh, are you in zero gravity? It, it seems to think so, but I'm not. Yeah. Then I did kind of glitch into the, the ship. Then that's just Star Citizen. I, I do not know what to do about that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you could change to the civilian clothing. The install. I don't really care about the gases, but is it gonna have, like? Am I gonna have to refill on this shit later on or what? No, no. Oh, then it's fine. Yeah. That's lucky though. The solution I know is deinstall, reinstall. That's what I'm supposed <laughs> to have to do. Mostly works, but takes some time. Sometimes. I I can't get inside eight ninety. I, I I got a feeling whoever spawned the ship is not part of the group. Ouch. No, I spawned the ship, I'm part of the group. You're part of the group, okay. Yeah. The thing is... What it's the hell? This door here on uh, Everest is bug, man. It's better for uh, you. Uh, visual bug, run through it. Uh, comms, comms, skill, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go, you have to... Um, to run through the door, and if you can't, you will fall through the ship, and you have to go for the other side, the other door. You know? let, let me let me try come from uh, the wait, side, wait. maybe. Let me try to open the door from inside. Oh, Thank okay. you. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Okay, that's it. it might only be the owner can that can open it. Where are you, man? Where is the guy with the beard? Uh, five meters behind you. Okay, it's like this. In real I life, that you I can don't. Drunk in I don't drink vehicle. alcohol, but here I'll drink. Oh, what the fuck! I respond. Oh, what just? Oh, what the hell? Yes, we oh, all. Still, oh, still. Uh... <laughs> We're all together. Oh, the yeah. ship. <laughs> okay. But it didn't problem. say anything, man. Oh god damn it! That I sucks. Can... Okay. Uh, it. it did get stored, right? Or yeah, hopefully. Just... It... <laughs> they just stored <laughs> it, so it should be fine. Look at all those corpses that couldn't breathe. Yeah. Hello, Rex. Oh, it's for Bert to get ready. Wait, comms, comms. No one saw that. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> it's also nice to be on the pad and watch the. It nine arrived. Yeah, oh, that was always nice. It's gonna be great. It's fucking huge. So all passengers, yeah. if you're not already at pad one, uh, go to the elevators in Everest Harbor and go to pad one. Is anyone else running at like eight FPS? Where are you, Bert? Pad one. So yeah, we have a six passengers in in pad one. Yeah, so if you are a bad one, you, your FPS might indeed be quite low. I am Jesus. I have. Hmm? I am Jesus. I have no idea how to pronounce your name. Can you just uh, get out of your vehicle and uh, get into the 890? We won't be parking it and stuff because. Oh no! Careful, careful, yeah, careful. careful. <laughs> He has not even taken up the landing gear. Oh my god. Yeah, he did. Sorry. Up. Oh. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to put my helmet on, but I cannot. <laughs> Fire it. <laughs> get the creep. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Oh shit. And now we are red, no? Are you guys red? What? No. We have a crime stat. <laughs> Do you guys actually have a crime stat? What's happening with the ship, man? It's going very fast. Why? Are you coupled or not? Is, um... Can you even fly that thing? Is everything okay? Do you know how to fly? What's going on? Things are not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't access my my inventory. 
Oh my god, I just fell out the pad. That was really scary. Yeah, I did that as well a little bit ago. Where did the ship even go? I can't oh, find it. What the heck? You see someone floating in space there. Guys, yeah, uh, I don't really know yeah, how to fix that. Okay, oh, I'm dying. Oh, there's 890. It just disappeared before from me. I broke my legs. Okay, I don't got a trust the guy who's is someone is someone of you uh, driving the 890 in this channel? Me. Who I is driving no 890? I have. <laughs> I think the 890 has been boarded. Um, Probably, um, yeah. No, okay, I'll be, I'll be soon. I'll be soon. Dead on the ground. Yeah, I died. Did you get hit <sighs> by the 890? I don't know. It's just bleeding out, I guess. Yeah, you got hit by the 890. I don't really trust the pilot of this 890. <sighs> God. And I can't put a helmet on. <laughs> I couldn't even rejoin. <sighs> yeah, it's very damaged, it looks like. Oh, can't join. Dude, Ooh, Bert, are you? Wait, Tom's Bert, are you able to join or? I do. I died, and now I'm stuck in the loading screen. I think. Oh, okay. I'm awake. Okay, I uh, just get to pad one again. Everyone can EVA to watch the ship. I wonder who is driving this. Uh, is I that just hamper, hamper obstruct. Who is this guy, Hamper? Uh, the new version of I got just got kicked. There's an update. Oh, God, I love the hangar on the A90. So good. They, okay. they just launched a new version. Uh, is it meant to be red everywhere? No, no. it's a damaged state. No, this guy just fucked up the ship, man. Uh oh. Can we dock That's repair no and problem. leave? I don't know how we Put got to... Up, uh, can someone take over the seat and repair the ship? Who the hell is no, Gary? because is... he has to jump away, man. Who is Gary? Gary? Yeah. He's a good fellow. I don't feel safe on this ship anymore. <laughs> I'm eating the dope. Well, well not knowing right who is... Uh... Okay, so everyone just uh, don't get on the 890. Why? Okay. Uh, if everyone okay. just oh. died on the 890. Oh my god. What, what the fuck happened? was this, man? Yeah, yeah, who is who... driving that thing? Yeah, who stole the 890? It was just a random guy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's a Gary guy. The ship and that. <laughs> What the hell is no, getting it was someone that was inside because it's like this you knew that everyone was in bad one how did you knew Gary O666 he couldn't he, know he, he is, it was something someone that knew that people were they on bad one weird, but also so, uh, whilst quantuming and stuff please do not get into them they can glitch you out of the ship and push you into space and then you just die Okay, then Every... I'm gonna put it on the floor. That saves this. Saves. Every... So just. Hmm? The ones on the table are the same when you quantum? No, the table table seats oh, are okay, safe okay. and the bar seats if should still be safe. If you join me on the ground, you can. Phoenix has been out so long. I can't believe that this is still a book. <laughs> Thank you for the candy bar. I'm sitting horrified on the floor in a corner. <laughs> Shit. Me and Furious Wolf are essentially holding hands. <laughs> are you seeing? <laughs> Basically. Hear romantic music. Ooh. Where the heck's this go? Yeah. I couldn't buy any nicer clothes. Oh. 
Someone went down. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> on the floor here. How, how, do, how do I go back up? You don't? <laughs> Where are you? Did you just... What? That's not, I didn't know this compartment in the nice way. Yeah. I figured it out. Good hide there. So if you're not on board the ship yet, please tell me. Except, of course, a few crew members. One person is coming. No, it's bad. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anybody using point successfully? Okay, so Dream LP, as soon as you are on board, you can uh, you can take over the pilot seat. Um, blue screen, I guess you can also be uh. a crew member. Oh, our vehicle is being impounded. Right now, or just fly away? Yeah, I'll try. Um, okay, so... Damn! What the hell? God damn it! <laughs> I was too close. Okay. Damn. Frick. Okay. Uh, this is going great. <laughs> yeah. But you weren't you weren't at the pad, right? I weren't weren't in the pad. I was near near it. But did it say uh, obstruction thing? Yeah. Well, I was on the outside view. Oh. For the elevator. Time that makes for us to get to Port Alisar. I can get an 890. Oh. Yeah, that's also a good idea. I can yeah, go to no, pre -med, don't let get anyone out. Right, oh, if you can I'm do that, taking... uh, please do that. Okay, I'm taking a big ship out. I'm taking a Karak to go to Olisar. Yeah, I'm also taking a 600i with a quick quantum drive, so... Uh, who can I hop in with? I only got slow ships. Yeah. So you can go. or go with a 600i, which is a luxury ship, or with the Karak. Uh, yeah, I'm at Angerport. Angerport. And the Dion. I will be at Hangar 4. With? Karak. The 600 is at Hangar 5. I just have to check up on... Oh, it gave my Phoenix back. Guess I'm going with the Phoenix. The 600 is not anymore at the. Okay. <laughs> it's quicker, so. Where so so oh, where we so going? You want you to can, launch? You can go to uh, nowhere. The, if you can get the 890, that's a better idea because we have a lot of passengers and crew. Um, okay. So you can go to or Hangar 4 for the Carrick or Pad. Who is eight. here with me? Uh, pad 5 Carrick. for the Phoenix. Blue screen. Yeah. Okay, I didn't saw your name. Yeah, we are missing most of the name tags for now. Yeah, I'm at pad 5 at the carrot. Pad 5? Uh... No. Hangar 4, it's the carrot. Yeah, Hangar, Hangar 4 is the carrot, pad 5 is the Phoenix. Okay, I'm going with the carrot. I feel more safe with that ship. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> the Phoenix I have died so many times from already, so... I see you as well. Yeah. Furious Wolf in inside Karak. I, I just got back, I'm assuming the Phoenix... Oh, I fell on the stairs. Yeah, Clock's oh, Dia smashed it to the Furious Wolf. I'm gonna walk slow now. Yeah, Clock's here. You know, when you're going on a spaceship, you need to walk slow. Yes. Like you are some rich person. Yeah, What's or it? or you Are shouldn't it? actually run into your crewmates. That would help also. Yeah. Is a Karak at uh, Hangar 5, is it? Uh, 4. Oh, Hangar 4. Fuck. Oh, I forgot about that. If we you still sit exist? down on the seats in the uh, Phoenix, you implode because you leave the ship. <laughs> You are fine like uh, on game the, most ships. You are I'm very fine on, afraid to get off. The, like the a few. <laughs> I am very afraid to step off. Yeah, now. but that ship has had that bug for so many years. So. Yeah, so stupid. 
but I think someone ate this thing. You can't eat it. Wait. Which thing? What do you, you have? Can you have? Your you can't eat the carrot. The, the stick. I don't know what it is. No, I've already Smoke had Daddy, like two of those. The camel dick. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I've had like two of them, man. They're fucking good. You have a helmet. You can't eat it. They are sausages from. Uh, you can buy them at Kelto. <laughs> No, I don't have a helmet. I ate, I ate something else just now that I found on the floor. I mean, I just I just need things. It. I yeah, found bring, on the floor. bring it over here. I'll take it. I can look through the glass. It's kind of funny. I can't really stand up because you know we'll implode. So just just hand it over here. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, okay. we're we are currently traversing the Stantum system, uh, the only system we have access to uh, in this Alpha. We are <laughs> heading to our Crusader and its moon. And there you'll get some information and lore uh, and some sightseeing around Crusader and, it moon, and its moons. If you have any questions about lore, so about the history, basically, of uh, the, the history of the verse, you can ask them to me and I should be able to answer them. How, how did this sausage get the name Camel Dick? I don't know, it may just look like one. That's not the history of the verse, I'm sorry. I'm like talking <laughs> about actual history. <laughs> Can I step off this chair now or will we still implode? <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's like half eat candy, you can't do anything with it. Can I stand Except... up now? Yes. We're not in quantum. Oh. 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 Uh, are we gonna oh, take man. out the uh, 890 now, or what are we doing in yes. the beautiful... Uh, hey, why do I look so menacing with this fucking chocolate on my hand? Next. Okay. Green next is a bag of points I can take Play chest. use body chat. Yeah, I know, but like the thing glitched. Oh, finally. Okay. So, for all people aboard the Phoenix, you can actually see uh, the asteroid belt of Yela, Yela itself, and Crusader in the... Oh, no, you can see the asteroid belt and Crusader in the left window, and Yela in the right window. Or uh, the other way around, I'm dumb. Excuse <laughs> me. Damn, he ain't lying. Uh, where are all the people on the 890? The 890 already took off from yeah, the Yeah, nice. yes, we did. We, we took off go to the this spa. Is everyone on board the 890? Was it Grim Hex or not? Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's a four of us on board. Yeah. These things, engines are so huge. For passengers aboard the Phoenix, you can get a beer from the bar. Also, you have to be with your engines on to be stopped. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put them on Woo! again. I'm bringing my beer with me. <laughs> oh yeah. We're going to space. Put on the helmet though, and check if you actually have it on. What's going on here? We'll find out. It's Maybe awesome. it's because we're standing on top of it. Let me see if it's... Okay, so, so this this is this is the mission where you board and you shoot 20 people, right? Yeah. Something yeah, happened. Except, to... except the 20 people shooting stuff. Comps, comps, comps. Uh, Dream LP just crashed. Uh, I just got damaged. And crashed? I may die. Yeah, and, and you spawned to... 31 million clicks away. Oh. This way to the spawn point. I think Dream died. Yeah, we don't have a pilot. <laughs> Come on, please work. Today please is such me. a amazing, amazing Star Citizen day. I love it. Yeah, I can, I can, I, may, I can fly. That's I may die, guys. Yeah, blue screen, if you could, please. Yeah, sure. I'll send you uh, something. Someone 
Can someone inject me? Come on, game! Heal me! No, I'm gonna die. Yeah, it, it was pa painful looking. Uh, alright guys, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah. Why do all, yeah. Why do all people die in this game? Did you set ICU or...? <sighs> I didn't get a chance, I just landed on the ship and I took damage. Oh, okay, this blue screen I crashed. Oh, yeah. I'll try to. Okay, so uh, blue screen, I've sent you the document, right? Yep. You can see that? Yep. Okay, so basically, just uh, start with step 1B. So not 1A, 1B. Okay, Roger. And just do exactly what it says. Uh, that's basically it. I'll. Uh, you can also just be in the other voice channel to instruct passengers and do whatever. I'm I'm at the pilot seat. Yeah, me too, man. I'm the I'm a passenger. Send me there. So, I'll try getting all passengers to the bar. So, to all passengers, uh, if you want any drinks or food and the best view, you can get to the bar. That's uh, in the front of the vessel. So, if you go to the main hall, where you can see the art piece, if you go up to the level where the art piece is standing, you can then walk into the door and uh, just through that corridor, and then you will arrive in the bar. Uh, what for drinks are there? Is this what do you want? In the, in the bar, serving us. what exists. I would like to see the face of the girl, man. She's with a helmet. <laughs> I... That sounds kind of weird, but... I, I <laughs> yeah, don't. a little bit, but... <laughs> Make sure you live a good tip, at least. So if you want any specific drinks, you can ask me like water, soda, uh, Chris I Flow, like, uh, Chris Lux. Oh, that's a nice girl. Uh, okay. like I don't know. Uh, I would want a soda. A soda, sir. Uh, what kind of soda? Uh, whatever exists. Whatever you have. That's the thing. Basically, anything. We are currently heading towards Selin, that's the first moon of Crusader. Hey babe, what in the end of the night, will you be taking that shirt off? Or... Oh yeah, Russ? oh what the fuck? Okay. Homie, this is a motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> that kind of establishment. So please what? keep this stuff PG. It's just... <laughs> Yo, can I have one of those dried camel deck as well? Uh. <laughs> I also have chocolate bars, nutrition bars, sausages, uh, a few apples. It'll do, it'll do. Basically, if you just want food or drinks, you can uh, ask me. So, ladies and, gen ladies and gentlemen, if you watch... Uh, what the hell? Um, what the, what, what is, what was just flying past us? Did you see that? Blue screen? Uh, we are on the approaching Higgs research outpost. Yeah, okay. Something was just flying past us. Okay. I'll go, uh, I'll go back. UFO. Date. So, uh, passengers, you can now see the atmosphere of Selin and the surface of Selin from the right window you can see the sun rise sunset I will say don't trust the bartender he is throw a neutral bar at me <laughs> they take their service very seriously they just wanted to get there in time <laughs> why is why is the ship so damaged <laughs> as a passenger that really you know that puts the fear of God in me to see a damaged ship it doesn't look damaged for me. It's fucking scorched. That's weird. So we are currently at Hicks uh, Research Outpost. And this outpost is on Selin. This is the first moon of Crusader, or Stanton 2. 
It's a volcanically active moon with at least 100 volcanoes, uh, and it was named after the youngest of three siblings. From the 24th century uh, children's mortality, uh, morality tale called A Gift for Baba. The volcanic activity represents Selin's simmering anger. So, Selin was a uh, character in a story, um, a children's morality tale, basically a kind of fairy tale, um, from the 2400s. There's also there's a lot of ge like a lot of uh, geothermal activity, um, like uh, thermal geysers on the server, and they can erupt without any warning. So you have to look out for those when you're driving or flying above uh, closely above the surface of Selin. We are currently at Hicks Research Outpost. Uh, this outpost is actually um, uh, in a constant twilight. So you can also you can always see Crusader here, and you can it's never completely day, never completely night. It's basically always sunrise, sunset, because it's on the north and uh, the north pole or the south pole of the moon. That's deep. <laughs> Flex that down there. Is there an outpost? Are there outposts on this? Yeah, the, yeah. we are currently flying close to. You that outpost see. that you can see there, that's the Hikas, uh, uh, Hikes Research uh, Outpost. And as I just told, it's in constant twilight. Yeah, you can evolving. you can spawn vehicles here. Yeah, some vehicles and uh, ships. Don't land here, by the way. I don't know if the route says that, but we're in an 890 and the route's more made for Phoenix, so... Uh, just fly above the surface until I tell you uh, which step to go to. Roger. Uh, Ma'am, can I do titty shots? I'm still, what? what? I am okay. already age 15. Uh, okay. Chad Fali. Uh, Chad Fali was a guy, and he was uh, the first to complete a solo circumnavigation of Selin in a ground vehicle in 2904. So that's 47 years ago. Uh, we are being tailed by Nick Surname. Constellation Phoenix. What? Shoot him down. By who? Nick Surname. Okay. Another player. Is he red or is he just uh... blue? Blue. Okay. Is he behind us or? So all passengers are still not allowed to get into the cockpit. See. Yeah, you see? This is oh, nice. very vertical. This <laughs> is this game is wonderful because of this. Yeah. Blue screen? Are hey, you not um the weapons active? It, uh, oh oops. Why can I not target him when I'm in the co pilot seat? That's dumb. So he should be fine, just to tell me when he actually starts attacking or something. I don't want him to uh, attack. Alright, jump to the orbit. Yeah, uh, show some nice views and stuff, because I'm not done yet. Um, I also sent you the flying rules, because yep. uh, how you're yep. flying right now is not very yeah, well, tour-like. Yeah, well, it, it was emergency. Yeah, I know, I know, but... And please don't use afterburner, that's just, it's so loud, and in 3.15 you will just completely, everyone inside the ship will fall over. Every single person. So, uh, afterburner is a bit aggressive. I'll move us back now. Just try giving them some nice views from our left or right window. And uh, remind, uh, keep in mind that, like, the... Basically, our view is basically obstructed, so we can only see above the 90 degree angle. 
Okay, he's after us. Hmm? Okay. Mer oh, I can see him. Mer Mercury Star Runner. Oh. Oh, ask him in chat. What was he called again? Um, Nick surname. He's he's uh, at, he was at the chat. Global chat. Uh, Dream LP has also arrived. So can you uh, hold the ship completely still? So yeah, just keep this uh, ship uh, still and I'll go back. Put us back in there. Dream, uh, you should be able to board the vessel. It should stay silent, or uh, stay still. Yep. He's here. Who is in the MSR? Some of us? No, that's yeah. another guy. He's just that's... doing box missions. That's me. I'm, I'm an MSR. Okay. Wait, oh, the MSR is someone else. Okay. So, uh, the ship should... Keep the silent, so you can uh, get into the vessel. And there's also another guy, he's just watching us for some reason, doing box missions. Oh. Yeah, I have ne he has never seen this big uh, ship before, I think. Oh. This is so, the yeah. you, it's not so usual to see. Talon, uh, the moon we are at, also has an artificial uh, satellite called Security Post Caria. It's a small space station uh, <laughs> being still under construction to improve the presence of uh, Crusader security in their jurisdiction. It's expected to be open and operating soon, but at this point in time, the only thing you can do there is hack your crime set away. So it's uh, it's a very dangerous place. Also, why we won't be going there because criminals um, hack the station to uh, hack their crime set away. Criminal? No, sorry, not wanted here. Nice to see other ships around this. I'll follow you guys in name is her. Jeez, your, your ship's pretty badly damaged. Yeah, no idea yeah. why. Well, it's brand new, man. I don't understand why. For me, <laughs> brand new. Yeah, because we claimed it. Yeah. It exploded. Oh, did you, did you repair it? No, oh, but it exploded, yeah. Sure. Okay, so yeah. is everyone on board the vessel who wants to be on board? And when I took it off... Except IR Jesus, who is just flying towards here. <laughs> I've been trying to get there for the last 10 minutes. Who is yeah, in the I know. Star I'll, I'll catch you eventually, just chill. I'll let you know when I'm close. I'll hop on. Who is yeah. in the Mercury Star Runner? Where, 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 where are you? You have a fast quantum. Go get him, man. Oh, but yeah. he's coming fast. Okay, we switched the pilot. Uh, yeah, I, I, can, I can go get him. I can pilot if anyone wants. Okay. So yeah, it's right. Um, so you can start uh, doing step two. Please just move slowly because I can. If you move quickly, it's like everyone just kind of does weird st stuff with their body. Um, it still doesn't let me war. Yeah, remove the quantum tr target and try again. Yeah, there's no quantum target, that's the thing. Uh, Loxidia, it would be nice if you could not document your entire journey to back to the ship to every single passenger. Right, I'm on board. Um, ship's on your uh, port side, so drift away from that before you set off. Okay. Should be clear of it anyway. 
Oh, it's OM1, OM3. Ladies and gentlemen, brace. Uh, or prepare for quantum travel. Uh, I are oh. please set to spawn point to ship this ship. This way, if you don't remember. Yeah, it's alright, I know where to go. I'll, uh, I'll sort it out. I am seeing the 890. Okay. Um, please don't get too close. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, like um, one alcohol, please, once more. All right. One coming right up. The fuck is that in your head? It, it's a de dead cat. Ah. Is that the far right mask? Yeah, my inventory doesn't work, so good thing that our bartender returned. Should actually uh, get everyone a VAR mask. Anyone who doesn't have it? Oh. Is there anything uh, passengers want? Like, <laughs> off? I'll have a beer. The man will have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> you have weed. Are there still <laughs> beer left cocaine or? or something like that, man? We do not have any drugs on board. I'm sorry. No. Come <laughs> on, man. This is the future. No man. fucking space okay, I'll hook you up, man. Get me the back. <laughs> I'm joking. And this is like a luxury ship. <laughs> and me. Where are the bitches at? <sighs> yeah. Well. You have a nice girl here at the bar. I'm waiting to see you. Oh. It's almost the gang bang. <laughs> oh, the motherfucker. Uh... I wish the game or the servers would be quicker. It takes so long to grab a single beer. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Been waiting a while now. Yeah, well, Is also... there still anyone that wants soda or, uh, yeah, I don't yeah. know, fruit or. A soda or a beer or something like that. Me as well, please. Your nice country. I like the Mohawk. Okay. Oh, nice. I'm gonna steal this one. Now, oh, someone ought to teach me how to throw one of these, one of these uh, bottles. Okay, he's found the battle bridge. Loxidia, uh, no are you on board? Yeah, I'm on Spooled board. I'm bottle. trying to find uh, the medical. Okay. Okay, I, I can I can show. Yeah, pilots, please. Uh, please okay, jump. I found it. I Pull found the, it. Okay. the board. Right. You do. You ch you press F, and then you choose place, and then you go up, and it will show you the. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you if you if you uh, press uh, click right the right button of the mouse, it will um, under it will send it under. You see, if you press the left button, it yeah. will do a high throw. It's like sorry, and if you do the the right Be button, it catch. will do a low throw. Yeah, I used I good catch, buddy. Now it's just finding the Where battle. Where the fuck did it go to? <laughs> Where the fuck did it go? 
Can I quit? Can you harm someone with this? Let's find that, shall we? I'm right behind yes. you. Yes, let's see. Right. It would okay. be so nice if the servers cool. would be just a cool. bit quicker. Stay there, stay there, don't move. It's better than uh, the PDU. Yes. That hurts. Yes, I guess, but it's almost still better bad. Than the oh. and the PPU, I can't even have time to go to the <clears> uh, <throat> planet before a 30k, so. Yeah, take it. Yeah, I'll catch it, don't worry. Take it, stab it. Uh, do you have an apple? Throw it. To see. Oh, that's it's gonna hurt. Hair. There's no way I missed. It was right on your head as well. Yes, when I saw it go. <laughs> what the fuck did it go? <laughs> Disappeared. Is this some no bullshit, man. Service? Some bullshit. Oh no, it went somewhere else, maybe. We need another beer, man. Or... I need to drink in the air, uh, the forward conference room. I would want an apple. What size? <laughs> Big apple. Oh, Why can... aren't there oh. apple trees? They would be epic in this game. Oh, I can see my own. And if you were here, or, uh, or if you had the BTU, there's a gun that now that will come in game. They disabled it, but you could drug people and then take their stuff, steal them yeah. and left, leave them naked. <laughs> you can still do that, just not in hospitals. No, because you can't use the the med gun. They cut. They. They don't. Can, yeah, they don't. It's not like, allowed. It's not allowed in armistice zone. Yes, you again. Use them outside of that. Oh, but outside it's very difficult to find people, man. And no, outside, you if you get a, if you get a med gun, I get a gun and I kill you. So if I see you with a med gun to me outside the armistice zone, you're dead. But yeah, it's kind of nice. Sir, ERG, yeah, would you like to uh, something to drink? Yeah, please. Oh, sorry. Okay, what do In... what do you like? Are you got any pips? I think so. I'll, I'll go and ask. One soda for ER, Jesus. Oh, oh, get it. My bad. Uh, it's just a route is a bit hard. I, I can bring it to him. Too bad I lost my own stock when when we died. Um, okay. Uh, I think your head, like, you don't have hair. Like, you have the weird thing uh, where you have your, you know, can't explain it. You have to re equip your helmet and de equip. Yeah. D didn't work. That sucks, as always. Uh, I'll get a soda. It's just uh, I have to do a lot of things at the same time as yeah. Captain. So, Macflex. Start the game with five thousand, ten thousand. Yeah, games. I think it's 10K. compared to the revenue you'd expect to get from owning a ship like this. It's not a lot, but that gameplay doesn't exist. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this ship doesn't really have a purpose, other than. What we are doing right now. Well, we, we could be paying right now for the. No, uh, you can for use. The, the, for the, for the yeah, tour. we could exactly. I thought of that. Yeah, we we, uh, we did use this ship for the uh, carrier operations as well. Yeah, you can use it for a lot of stuff. Not it's only. It's cheaper. It's cheaper to crash it than refill it. Yeah. Yeah, later you will need to refuel it though. You can do like, box like, missions yeah. if you want with it. <laughs> Very expensive yeah. box missions. I already, I already did box missions once. <laughs> oh yeah, I already refueled it in uh, 100k in fuel and uh, got 10k. Oh my god, profit. 
No, I, me, the thing for me in this There game, is a Fiscola on the bar. It's trading, man. I Someone was asking for his soda. I love trading. Yes. That's soda has been delivered on the bar. I drank it. What the fuck? I didn't even press it. Oh, anything. soda. Oh, okay. just one. Here, here, here you are, sir. Thank you. Oh, my soda just disappeared when I dropped it. Okay. That's sad. Where did you store the soda, man? Ah, there's a guy with a, a, a backpack. Oh my god. The game that is just... just uh, hammer yeah, hammer that's all. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, if you now look in the left window, or front window, you can see Daymar. Daymar is the second moon of Crusader. It's uh, also named after one of the siblings from the tale, Eke for Baba. It's nearly circular, uh, it's nearly certain, like it has a perfect circular orb orbit almost. And it's uh, set to represent Daymar's ease at getting lost in the story. The first permanent homestead on Daymar was built on the moon in 2906 by Darnell Ajay. Uh, the atmosphere is unfortunately non breathable and reaches an altitude of about 30 kilometers. It has a surface pressure of 0 0.5 five atmospheres, so half that of Earth. God. <laughs> Another, an MSR, I just, <laughs> that scared me. Yeah. The moon also has an interesting uh, artificial uh, satellite, it's called Govalex Hub Gundo. It was a uh, Kovalex trading prime shipping hub, hub for the Stanton system, but it uh, suffered a catastrophic accident because of a smuggler that had infiltrated the satellite. Uh, and he caused an explosion and the death of all empl employees aboard the station. <laughs> that's, that's a sad story. Yeah, that's pretty sad. And the first human to die on Daymar, which is also a very... You, you just need to know that. It's uh, Michael Norwood in 2904. What I kind of like in this game is that if you swim in the country, in the planet, and if you decide to go to the mount, a certain mountain that you, you will get there. It's fucking amazing without a loading. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Screen. Yeah, we're just flying towards the planet like it's. I know one place that's really cool on Daymar. I have it as a yeah. background picture. And now you imagine you now you choose a point in the planet. You choose and you see a mountain and I'm going to that mountain. And you go there in the mountain, it's the same when you get there, you see what I mean. It's so cool. Yeah, that's it's exactly what I do now. The first time I saw uh Hurston, Lordville from Everest, it was a guy that showed me, Hey come here to this to the screen uh, to the window and watch this. Look down, you see on the planet that's Lordville Hey man, that was amazing for me the first time I saw it. I remember because he told me, you see, man, now you get on the ship and you go there. And whoa, I still remember that time. That was the same for me. Seeing the Hurston building from orbit was crazy. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah the oh. first time I played this game, a guy picked me up because I crashed my ship. In and what's going on there? He around and showed me the 8 point and everything. It was really yeah. cool. Something else that's pretty... Uh... Crazy as you can see headlights from orbit. So if a car is driving around on the moon or a yeah, big ship, night, you can see the lights from yeah, like that... 200, 400, 500 kilometers. It's insane. Yes, it's very nice. I use that a lot to catch uh, rock miners. <laughs> oh, yeah, pirate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I love pirating. So, uh, pirating, people say I'm a griever and I don't care. But... Okay. It's I good like, when it's done right. I like to try everything and I like to create gameplay. When I see a player... Do you give well, them a chance or do you just kill them? No man, he has to play with me. Communication. <laughs> that, that's why it's annoying when people have um, like their mics turned off. So if you speak to them in game and you say something, they'll just they'll just ignore you and then... You know, I already tried... You when you kill them. I oh, tried a, a lot of times... 
a lot of times I uh, I tried to play with the, or make the player understand something without speaking in game, and just jumping or making something him to come, telling him to come. You know, you can say that to come after you. I tried that when um, you know when rock mining was just a, the rocket just came out and had night was really worth it and uh, tried to pirate the guy there and he just he wasn't listening I'd hailed him and I'd typed in chat and I was shooting the ground next to him and uh, didn't respond and eventually I killed him and he he was I'm reporting you and he's screaming in chat and I gave him plenty of opportunity but me I don't I never kill him usually I bait them to kill me and that's <laughs> what I do is the rock miners I love them because they always leave the door from their ship open so you just have to get inside the ship, take it off, take it off the ground, off limits from the player, and the guy is fucked. And then you just have to demand money. That was what I did. I demanded one case. Sometimes I even demanded twenty. Oh, I never asked for much. Yeah, it's it. just, it's more about Something just creating like gameplay. Yeah, and it's like fun. It. but no one wants to pay man. Nah. And they get mad. <laughs> But Ladies and gentlemen, like we have arrived at the wreckage or crash site of the UEES Flissa. Okay, oh, seen that's this. nice, man. Never seen you this can't one. see anything out of the window. Oh, I know, it? but you will be able to exit the vehicle. Oh, oh yes. Should, should I? Uh, we are actually currently landing, so yeah. Atmosphere hey. is breathable? No, the atmosphere is non breathable. You will need a spacesuit. Oh, yeah. Temperatures can be quite high, too. Chalk so next be careful. Oh, my bad. I'm not not a good pilot. Oh, this is nice. I didn't know this place. We have because landed. I saw it before. Yeah, the prowler is here also. All passengers are allowed to exit the vehicle. Oh, uh, I exited the run before. The prowler is with us. Yeah. Okay. Prowler is a nice ship. No, the, it's a proud. Oh, okay. So, uh, the UES Flissa is a Javelin class destroyer that crashed in an accident over Daymar in 2862, so pretty long ago. It was under the command of Captain Chin Ormiston and it had been dispatched by Admiral Pavlina Marlin to apprehend an illegal mining operation on the surface. The mining ship and its explosive ore exploded. It, it just combusted because uh, of. Uh, bad bad the ship was just not great the mining vessel was an old ship and it exploded it combusted this explosion uh, damaged the javelin so severely that fires broke out and explosion happened aboard the naval vessel this made it so that the vessel was almost impossible to pilot uh, and it crashed into the moon all 65 crew died it was one of the worst naval, uh, the one of the worst UEE naval crashes of the 29th century. Oh, it's a big wreck. It's a very big wreck. Stinky. That's also, also a sad story. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's a only sad story. Crusader is just sad, but I also have another uh, funny story about Crusader, or this moon. Because there's an outpost on this moon, it's called uh, Wolf, po Wolf, Wolf Point Aid Shelter. And it's situated above a junction of multiple canyons. It's a pretty beautiful place, it looks nice, the landscape around it. But it got its name because of, a, uh, of the Crusader surveyor, Kelly Strobel, who had noted, Against all odds, it seems a family of wolf-like creatures somehow has found a way to settle the area. Their cries can be heard kilometers around. Uh, unfortunately, after further investigation, they discovered that the wolves were just a prank by a fellow surveyor. That's also sad. <laughs> yeah, that's also funny because they still yeah, named the outpost after it. Like they still named the shelter after it, even though yeah, it was just I a know. joke. Let me guess, there's nothing to really find here. No, you can't find anything here, it's just a nice rack, and you can get some nice screenshots here. 
know if it will it's a guy with a something here. in the in 3.15 i don't know if this exists and if it will have something but if it's they didn't happen. it would be very weird if they delete this because this thing has here been here like forever forever i saw, I saw a twitcher a twitch guy making they were playing fps games here yeah that's a great place for fps that's also a thing yeah, and racing also uh, this place is okay. actually famous for racing yeah they have a bucket here uh, unless that great cat is ours <laughs> i did yes. just 30k somebody did oh no it just had a bad lag spike for me Fixed the windows in the engine room. That looks better. There's a guy speaking to us on the sh global chat, man. Yeah, he's just asking if we want the pro lap. Yeah, I can take it. No, but I don't, I don't want to fly. There's... Oh, Raccoon, you fucked it. Oh, shit! <laughs> I thought it was game over. I thought it was game over, man. <laughs> if you put this MPUV on the side, it's so funny. Try and do it again. <laughs> so you so can fun. just take a look at the wreckage and walk through the big engine parts and stuff. Because of the dust, there are like you can take some very cool screenshots with God Rays here. And I'm so stupid too. Like what the fuck. Why is the ship so badly damaged? What the hell? Oh, oh no, a grey cat. Where did that grey cat come from? Who brought that? No idea. I, I saw it driving around. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. And so? No. Oh no. Oh Who's wait! Oh! Wait! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> When everyone is done, we'll be heading on to the next place on this moon, and there everyone will be able to drive around, and I can also provide any vehicle you want. If it's under $500, I'm probably gonna buy it. It's already over, so... The merchant? Yeah, yeah merchant. it was 550 if I remember correctly. And it should be, like, I hope, six 700 um, well, I, can't. I can't buy those kinds of ships. I don't have those, that kind of money to spend. I don't really have also, but I have saved. So. Saved? Yeah, I'm saving money to spend on games. So. How old are you, man? I'm only 18, actually. Well, not only 18, you're 18. It's not only. <laughs> It's young Indeed, for this man. game, actually. Yeah, oh, it is. I think so. Where you are? Where are you from, man? Me. I'm from Sweden. Ah, okay. And you? Portugal. Portugal. Yes. Ah, fala português. Português. Me, but I was born in Paris, and I traveled a lot in Europe well, on my That's job. Nice. Well, I didn't went to Sweden yet. Maybe one day, I don't know. Don't go in the winter, it's very cold. I heard you know, you have nice girls there. I have no idea. <laughs> he never gets outside. Why is it nighttime here? Well, yeah, okay. my life depends on playing Star Citizen and games. Yeah, exactly. How are we gonna get parachutes? Yeah, it would be very fun. Or something along those lines. And uh, things so you can uh, use the eject button on the seats without dying. Mm -hmm. It's night. Yeah, it was just day, but uh, night. Day cycle is a bit quick, so unfortunately it's night. But yeah, we can still drive around at night, it's beautiful. not... Hmm? It's okay. The sunset is very nice, though. In the well, I have a, right windows. A lot of, I have a lot of vehicles, so if you need also. I have all Sand of them, pump. and I have a lot of them, really. 
I have like 30 charm reels. So. Yeah, 30 something. Yeah. Okay, so the the reason why we're actually driving around here is because this moon is very popular with driving around. A big event uh, that's actually that actually happens annually on this moon is called uh, Daymar <coughs> Race, Daymar Rally. Citizens uh, have actually organized this yearly race since 2922 on Daymar. The first time the official route was done uh, was more of a sightseeing event, and that was in 2917. The next Daymar Rally will be on uh, the 15th of January uh, 2952. It's uh, it's a 510 yeah. kilometer race. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. It's a 510 kilometer race um, in three different categories. So you can do it in rovers, in buggies, and in uh, and on bikes. So like knocks and dragonflies. A few uh, a few minutes after the start of the rally. Uh, you are allowed to use vehicle weapons, so it does get quite nasty with killing each other. It is, um, yeah, that, that, it's why they call it the filthiest race in the verse. Big That's rally good. teams participated, uh, like Mantis Racing, Golden Arrow, Clockwork Innovations, and Ars Celeritas. Celeritas. Um, hmm? We should be on that race, man. Right now, or just like? No, no. I say we should be on that thing when they do it. Yeah. If you like driving, definitely go uh, sign up for do a, you know, a team. Do you watch Twitch? Nope. No. Okay. There's a big guy there on Star Citizen. It's called Captain Richard. Oh, I'm I already. Really I'm. I'm on his org, and uh, we are in. Uh, we made some. Uh, races on Levski yeah, that was crazy because it has a it had a, a kind of a circuit around um, the big hole you know I don't know if you remember Levski no well, it yeah well I do but like I know the circles but I don't it really had, it had a big hole you know <laughs> yes and it, around it and uh, you could uh, get vehicles out there you know you knew it no by the way, no, yeah. It was nice. I was... Uh, By the way, we have landed. One of the races, isn't it? We have landed, so you are able to get out of the vessel and spawn vehicles and uh, go drive around. Even though it's a bit dark. Anyone okay. misses and something? Maybe watch out for the outlaws. Oh, I don't know what ground vehicles I've got. I've, ma I've made contact with them. They seem friendly. For yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> if everyone has his spawn point, it's okay. Then, as long as you don't go 20 kilometers for it. Yeah, Grimax is like pretty close, so it should all be fine. But... Um. Uh, the Daymar Rally actually ended in uh, 2935 when no one won the race, so there was no winner. And the organization of Daymar Rally collapsed in on itself. It has been revived in 20, uh, 2949 by some local racing enthusiasts. And you can participate yourself in the next one. You just need a team to play with. Who is this guy here with this armor? Red armor. With the talon. The eagle one. Oh, where's the green? Uh... Who is the... You see this armor? These are the guys I'm gonna... Try not letting them on board. Some real. Oh, there's a guy with it. Still, hey, if you... Still, hey, if, you have... if you have any questions about... Uh lore and stuff hey, oh, look at me <laughs> if you have heard like stuff like sata ball and stuff i can explain those things if you want me to i'm on top of the episode what sata ball what's that uh that's one of the biggest or maybe even the biggest sport currently uh 
like in the first in UE I... space and also Banu space. So what is that? It's a sport where you have like a ball um, and a field, you know, like uh, soccer from like 20, from like the 21st oh, yeah, century. It's basically uh, a kind of the same. You have two goals, a big field, and a lot of players. Uh, but in this game, you have magnetic equipment to uh, easily grab the ball, so you can have magnetic uh, equipment to just and throw someone... it and catch it. And someone... the... hmm? sorry, someone push the rock out of the of the pad, or maybe I'm gonna try try to take it out. Oh, not again! Sorry. Yeah, I can't get in. Someone, if someone could push the rock out uh, of the pad here. I think yeah, it exploded. I'm, I'm going to explode soon if I don't leave this ship. Did you? I I don't know. I see currently a purple ball. Am I still there? No, you disappeared. Oh, you're also glitched. That purple ball thing is very weird. Uh, oh, that's just nice. relog as well, or if... uh, can't yeah, you kill yourself? Waiting for my cyclone to explode. Shit. That's been a bigger day, buggy day. Why? Buggy day, buggy. Can't even talk. Oh wait, I don't know if I can spawn more vehicles. I think so. Yeah, I, I can't even access the menu, guys. Date nanny may disappear. <laughs> oh, Just restart your entire game, I guess. Yeah. There's oh, an H2 here, M2. And but your uh, so. your spawn, your bed may still be inside. We the have a big ship 90. on the 890. Wait, what? Bad Which ship? Pad is free. Which ship is on the 890? M2. Yeah. What is it doing? Floating. Well, well, only... Yeah, floating on over it only for the moment. God. This is what? Area of 41? Yeah. I, I told you. Yeah, I know, I know. Cloxidia, you are not allowed in yeah, the cockpit. Oh, okay. It's I'm so also bad. restocking beer, drinks, and food on the bar, so when you guys get, get back into the ship, if we survive these outlaws, you can uh, get some more drinks and food and stuff. Or smoke daddies, because, well, they exist. Um, uh, j Bob, I, I have to tell you something, okay? I'm sorry. Take, or maybe hmm? take me to another channel, man. Okay. Please let me reach the A90. Please, no. Oh shit! I might die. Not good. Not good. Or people who were trying to catch up with this uh, ship. We will uh, be going to uh, Aston Ridge Aid Shelter. Pretty silent in there. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> I just got <Yeah>. killed. <laughs> There's like a war going on here. <laughs> Wait, there's a. You got killed on the 890 or? No, no, no. Back at Port Elisa, there's like a whole bunch of pirating going on around here. Yeah. It's like. That sounds pretty normal, actually. Passengers, would you kindly keep out of the oh. co cockpit? Sorry, forgot. Oh, just another reminder. Drinks at the bar. I actually need one myself. My hydration is... It's 
pretty low. <laughs> Once I thought of doing something complex in the 890, like a party. With a, an org, it's possible, but we don't have so many people in, in the server for it. But my hey. idea was to have an, a team inside the 890 that would be uh, guys with uh, guns uh, guarding the co the pilot, yes, and we would uh, uh, how do you say invite people from the server from the chat, you know. But this chat is well, it's only 50 people and most of them maybe would not enter. But like a party and like someone that was here already spoke you would even pay to get in and you could not use weapons inside if you were seen with a weapon you would be shot down understand what i mean yeah that's good rules that's okay kind of... yeah so uh if you look out the windows you can see the surface and the planetary rings of the moon called uh, called Yela, the last moon of Crusader. It was also named after uh one of the siblings from uh, no, the A gift. Was going away. Hmm? What? Nothing. Uh three siblings from the A gift for Baba Till. The moon has a water ice crust set to represent Yela's cool and calculating mannerisms. It has an asteroid or planetary belt, as you can see. Uh, the atmosphere is pur purely made out of oxygen, but it is so thin that it isn't breathable. It does mean that pressurized suits can replenish oxygen from the atmosphere. Uh, the first permanent homestead on Yela was built by Wilma Ivory in 2907, and Erma Triolo, Triolo was the first human to be born on Yela in 2909. So what did they do if their homestead just live, or...? I guess, there's nothing in the lore that tells about that. Hmm. It can be quite snowy weather at Yela. Snowy weather? You mean like winds that throw up the snow? Never mind, he's gone. Well, what? That's no in yellow. Yeah. I mean, Frozen. it wouldn't really snow. I don't think. Would be ice, maybe. I mean, it couldn't be snowing if it is that cold. Always. Like, there has to be... To be snowing, you have to, you need to have an atmosphere, right? I think. Also, it needs to be warm enough for the uh, water to turn into a gas and then cool down again. It might not need to be a water, water snow, water kind of snow. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe something else, but still, it would need to be warmer, right? Yeah. To make that go up. Uh. The, the drinks fall. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare for quantum travel. Oh, another small thing about the asteroid belt. Um, somewhere in the asteroid belt is a uh, station called Grim Hex. It's a station built into uh, an asteroid. And Grimhex was built shortly after the discovery of Stanton under the name 
and the station was called Green Imperial Housing Exchange by a corporation called Everline Structures Incorporated. Incorporated. It was built for mining purposes and giving the crew of these mining operations a place to live. Hex stations are more common in uh, UEE space. Uh, they are prefab stations to facilitate housing and other services in the early stages of colonization of a system. Green Imperial Housing Exchange was abandoned and poorly maintained when the minerals in the vicinity ran out. It was officially closed in 2938, but it fell in the hands of outlaws. It's currently home to a lot of criminals in Stanton. That's why we won't get. Uh, that's why we are not physicating it. If you are a criminal, if you have a st uh, crime stat, this is the only safe station where you can spawn ships and stuff in Stanton. It's controlled by pirates and other outlaws. Just say a heads up for all the passengers. Uh, if you have any screenshots, it would be nice if you could post them. Raccoon, where are you going, by the way? Are you still trying to get on board? Or? I'm I'm still trying to get out of Port Olisar. Any any ship that takes off just gets destroyed at the moment. Oh. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, passengers, uh, prepare for frame drops. You can have a nice view of the atmosphere of Crusader. In the left window, we will be heading towards Orison and ending the tour there in the Voyager bar. Where you can actually get liquor and stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, we are currently in the atmosphere of Stanton 2, currently called Crusader. Crusader is a low-mass gas giant, uh, a bit bigger than Earth, about uh, with a diameter of about 14,000 kilometers, with a, a breathable atmosphere in the higher altitudes. And the, the planet and its moons are owned by the mega corporation Crusader Industries. Crusader Industries was one of the mega corporations uh, when the UEE decided to sell the planets of the Stantum system. They sold these planets because they needed money for the war efforts against the Vandul, but also for the Sinferold project. Crusader Industries currently uses big floating platforms uh, in the capital of the planet, called Orison, where we are right now, and the only place where humans live too. To construct their big commercial ships like the Genesis Starliner and the Hercules Starlifter, uh, they use these platforms because uh, at these higher altitudes the gravity is a bit lower. The first of these platforms was built by the UEE before they uh, if, before they sold the plans to the mega corporations, and the, the platform the first platform was called Providence Platform. You can actually visit that. They use these, uh, currently Crusader uses to construct these ships. Uh, and they use these because, well, the lower gravity, as I said. But constructing ships inside the atmosphere has a lot of advantages over constructing in space. Uh, because of, well, chemical reactions, basically. This was why uh, Stanton 2 was perfect for Crusader, because they, the low gravity combined with all the advantages of constructing a, in atmosphere, reduces the cost of building their ships and this cost is actually reduced by about 40% according to calculations. The atmosphere in these higher altitudes is breathable so you can just walk around without a spacesuit and uh, Crusader has uh, three moons which we all visited and one big sta space station called Port Olisa. Orison, uh, which we are flying through, is very special in the UEE, 
the beautiful colors and the atmosphere uh, of the atmosphere and the cool floating platforms with the gardens and buildings give just amazing vistas. You cannot yet buy anything else than food and <laughs> Jesus, than food and cargo in Orison and some clothing stores and stuff. So no ships or something yet. Uh, and the rest of the floating city will come with 3.15. So there will be a Crusader showroom where you can actually buy some Crusader ships. And there will be a ship customized store and of course a hospital. We... Yeah. Hmm? No. no, ask the question first. Sadly, uh, Orison makes people crash sometimes. Yeah. Too beautiful for, too beautiful for everyone's PC. Mm -hmm. I guess so. We will now be landing uh, at the spaceport, or very soon be landing at the spaceport, and heading to Cloudview Center, to the Voyager Bar, and to sh and some shops, so you as passengers can drink some more <laughs> alcohol, <laughs> and uh, buy some clothing or something. By the way, I can also give you guys uh, the entire lore of Crusader Industries if you want to hear that stuff, but it will take a little while to tell. Okay. How about how about in two times speed mode? <laughs> Crusader Industries has one of the most interesting stories behind <laughs> any mega corporation in the UEE space. It was founded by August Dunlo. <laughs> Okay, so Crusader Industries uh, was founded by <laughs> Argus Dunlow. I'll give a shorter version. Argus Dunlow was born in 2770. He was 11 and lived on Angeli. Uh, that's a that's a Earth-like planet in the Crowsall system, the first system humanity discovered. Uh, when the Imperator Messer X, uh, called uh, Ulysses Messer, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, I see. No. Yeah. Curious to see how you guys are doing. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he was eleven, uh, and then Master X came to visit his newest monument, which was built to keep the people of the UEE happy. Because in those times, most uh, UEE people started getting a bit pissed off by the the way the message dictated human space. And what here, X? It was uh, called Kainal Stadium, but what he didn't know was that his son, and his daughter actually, <laughs> but mainly his son, Linton Messer, uh, Messer the 11th, had set up a trap at the station to oust his father, his own father. The big explosion that followed destroyed the stadium, killed Messer, Messer the 10th, and the like. basically a war started on the planet, especially in that city. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, <laughs> sorry. August Dunlow's mother died in the battles and his father died shortly after. He got saved by... Uh, uh, he was orphaned, but he got saved by a non-profit organization called Angelis Angels, which is a non-profit homeless shelter for young people. August became anti-Messer activist uh, after he graduated from the un University of Angeli. And and actually, like, uh, a terrorist attack was planned on him, but he got saved by an illness, which made him not get into uh, onto that ship. After this realization that people were actually trying to kill him, he uh, fled to Xi'an space and came back shortly after the massacre of Garen II. Which was basically uh, humanity. Well, a a a corporation, a terraforming corporation, owned by the cousin of the master, like the, the the dictator, terraformed a planet with sentience on it, so intelligent beings and way more life. And uh, well, they terraformed it so 
those sentient beings couldn't live there anymore and all died. It was basically a big genocide of intelligent life forms <clears throat> that got humanity quite mad against the masters uh, and all their species against humanity. So he came back after this massacre happened uh, and Jesus. when the UEE fell, so when the masters got thrown off their dictator chair, they uh, August Dunlow bought a, then bought a struggling shuttle manufacturer and he called it Crusader Industries. Crusader Industries got contracts from the UEE um, and um, what was special about Crusader Industries was that a big a big piece of the profits was uh, earmarked for charity. So when the Crusader Industries has profits, they give it to charity, or a big part of it. The first actual ship Crusader uh, made was a transportation... Tra <coughs> God damn it. A transport ship for vehicles and equipment from Crusader in uh, 2812, the Jupiter. It was popular, very popular, and Crusader expanded. They also made the Saturn, which was a passenger vessel. A vessel, basically like the previous version of the uh, nowadays Genesis Starliner. August Dunlow announced that Crusader Industries would become the main funder for Angelis Angels, the non-profit organization that saved his life when he was a little child and his parents died to that trap, that master trap. After this, the UEE Starlift Command needed a ship which could, which could take a lot of fire, but also could deploy heavy ground vehicles, like tanks, uh, from Tumbril. And uh, Crusader 1 from Aegis Dynamics with their M2 Hercules Starlifter, and it was just a big success. The Genesis uh, Starliner was sh uh, released shortly after, which also got really popular. Um, actually, uh, something that happened because of like the Genesis Starliner is n and the uh, Saturn Starliner is the main uh, transport vessel. No, we take the last picture here. Yeah. Well, we can still head to, to Cloudview Center, to the bar, and to the shops if you want to. Jesus. But uh, that, what happened was that in the UEE. Uh, saying I am going on a crusade is now like a synonym to saying I'm going on a vacation because if you're going on a vacation to another planet you're most certainly going to travel with, an, uh, with a Genesis Starliner the Hercules also got uh, more modular and they got it even got even more po popular Kelly Kaplan was uh, she decided to uh, buy the gas giant we are currently inside. A quite new ship was designed, uh, was again a success, it's the Mercury Starrunner. They also redesigned the M2 Hercules uh, and now we can actually buy a civilian one uh, version and a military version. The last ship, which isn't released yet, is the Ares Starfighter. It's the first combat focus ship from Hercules, so they haven't uh, made combat focus ships yet. And it's designed in cooperation uh, with Bering, a weaponry manufacturer. Which basically makes the Ares a flying gun. Crusader Industries still donates a lot of their profits to Angelus, Angels and other charities to make the lives of other civilians and citizens better. That was basically a summary of the story of Crusader. Yeah, I can add one thing to it. Uh, Crusader as a uh, company uh, gives out a lot of money. Like donates a lot of money to people in need and uh, like organizations in need. And stuff. I believe I just said that, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear it actually. It might be deaf. He did. Uh, part of parts of the profits, or large parts of the profits, are given to uh, people who need it more. Yeah. So. Yeah. 
little lights just turn off in the ship. <laughs> Can you get? It's crazy how big this ship is. It's harder to like understand. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, already I'm already sorry for everyone uh, who wants to play in the PU before the wipe, because well, <laughs> you're going to have to get out of Crusaders atmosphere. Oh shit. Your spawn is here. Whoops. It's not that horrible. In no, if you get a fighter and a quick ship, it's not 10 bad. Minutes. <sighs> so you are now able to exit the spaceport and go uh, in the sky transit of Crusader. Oh well, yeah, we are in PU, so now the water isn't green and glowing. Yeah, exactly. I don't like toxic waste in my water. No, the problem is now you can actually see the to toxic waste coloring working. In the PU, it's still in development. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, in Orison, there's a shopping center in Orison. Uh, you can find a convenience store with basic armor, tools, drinks, food, a lot of things. It also has a clothing store called, Ma called Macau. And a Whammers, a fast food uh, burger restaurant. You can find Voyager Bar in the same shopping center at the second level. It's the only bar in, uh, in Orison. This is my home planet no, at the moment. You're gonna miss the shuttle. No. Ooh. I'm totally fine, I'm totally fine. I was uh, going out of the shuttle once. It was like this morning. And uh, the door closed, so it pushed me like out of the pathway. And I ended up on the roof of the shuttle and died instantly. Great. Yeah. That's that happens. In on the train on uh Orc Corp you can jump off a like a thing and land on the train and the like Ride on the roof of the train ah, to yes, the to the spaceport. That's really fun. I don't know if you can do it here. You can't. You die yeah. instantly. Okay. The roof of this shuttle doesn't. Uh, uh, it doesn't work like a roof. You just slide off it. Like, the ship moves, and uh, you don't move with it, you stand still. Yeah. Okay. I got my frames. We have arrived at yeah. Cloud View Center. If you want to go to the shopping center, you can follow me. Or the bar. not many people left. Welcome at Voyager Bar. Nope. You can spend the rest of your night here. Yeah. He's off in the middle of something. Oh no, he's in the middle of something. <laughs> yeah, he's, he got kinda angry. Ah, damn it! You can't order anything at them because they're in the middle of something. <laughs> yeah, there's a bar over here. We can't maybe order over here. Um. It's this guy. Okay, okay so... you can't order anywhere. One second, alright? One second, right? Or do we want to make the uh, screenshot? Outside. Yeah. Outside. Outside the bar. Over here with the stormwall in the background or something? Oh, we can do the stormwall, but I was more like, uh, yeah, just, yeah, 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 exactly, over there. Are we going to the stormwall? I'm picking up a few more people. No, 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 no. On the roof of this place. Yeah, on the roof of the bar. Okay. That's a nice picture, though. Is everyone here now? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. In any picture you take here is pretty nice, to be honest. Yeah, it's very nice there. Oh my 
God. Up with you. Up. I can't stand up. Hey, Spar. I'm stuck. <laughs> Let me go up. 